Hello everyone, and welcome. In this series, I'll be showing the complete build process of this RC 125th scale 1991 Chevrolet Camaro Z28. In today's video, I continue the build by assembling the 3D printed FFR SC1 chassis I'm using for this car. If you missed last week's video, go ahead and watch that video first. In it, I introduce the project, unbox the model kit, do some bodywork, and 3D print a custom hood. If you've seen the previous build series I did on the 2010 Ford Shelby GT500, you'll be familiar with this fully 3D printable variant of the FFR SC1 chassis. I'm using the exact same chassis for this build, only it's sized to fit AMT's third gen Camaro model kits, like the 91 Camaro kit I'm using for this project, and the 83 Camaro kit I showed a while back. Both already printed parts and STL files are available, along with electronics and hardware kits. Links, as always, are below in the description. If you're building one of these cars along with me, refer to the chassis assembly tutorial linked below in the description. Although I'm building the chassis for a different body in the tutorial, the assembly process is exactly the same. As you can see, I already had most of the components I'll be using assembled and the chassis parts printed. All that's left to do is assemble the chassis. I decided for this car I wanted to paint the chassis flat black. This of course is optional, but I like the look of a painted chassis. I started by sanding all of the parts. This helps to smooth the surface a little and remove some imperfections. After that, I sprayed some Rust-Oleum flat black paint. All the parts looked nice after a few light coats. After the paint dried, I installed the rear axle assembly. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail regarding the assembly process, since again, I've already put together a detailed tutorial video. As always though, if you have any questions during the assembly process, please don't hesitate to send us an email or a message on Patreon. Once the rear axle and suspension is installed, I secure the rear chassis piece. You may recall I went with a torque arm rear suspension when I built the 83 Camaro a while back. Although that was more accurate, in this car I was able to run wires through the center of the chassis next to the drive shaft, which is easier to do with the torque arm not in the way. You'll see what I mean when I install the electronics. The next thing I did was install the steering servo. I often like to install it on the passenger side so it doesn't interfere with the steering wheel or steering column. This car will have a full depth interior. I now wanted to figure out how long I needed the drive shaft to be. I mocked everything up, measured, and cut the rod to the length that I needed. After that, I glued the ends onto the rod and installed it along with the motor. After that, I mounted the modular front suspension and steering assembly. I did need to remove a section of the chassis to get the steering to full lock. 
In the STL files that are available for download, you'll see that these corners have already been modified, so you won't need to cut them like I did here. I cut the steering rod and glued on the ends just like I did earlier for the drive shaft. I then installed it along with the steering arm. After that, all that's left to do to make it a roller is to install the wheels. I'm going with this set of custom 5-spoke wheels. At this point, the chassis is ready for the electronics and body to be mounted. I'll be covering that in the next video. Be sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications so you don't miss next week's video where I continue this project. If you'd rather not wait, the full build start to finish is available now to all Patreon supporters and to all channel members. You can click the join button below this video or become a patron with the link in the description for exclusive perks and to help make more content like this possible. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you next time.